this AI agent scrapes viral Twitter posts for free. As you can see, this is the entire workflow. After you run this workflow, you will get all the data here based on the niche that you inputted. Now we've inputted uh, the niche to be the AI. So this is the niche that we're getting. As you can see, you get the tweet ID, the URL, the content, the likes, retweets, replies, quotes, views, and also the date when it's published. And this is what you're getting. You're getting a bunch of different tweets right here that you can use for your own business or whatever you want to do. So obviously we'll break down exactly step by step how to do this. As you can see, AI agents, NA10 and AI automation popularity has been rising in the past 12 months. That means this is the best time to learn this in-demand skill. And what better place to learn than joining our school community? Now, our school community is totally different than other communities. Just because we're doing the advanced AI agent templates every single week, we're adding new courses monthly. We also have direct one-on-one -on -one support. Here, you can also see what other people say about us. And not only that, we're giving away free NA10 account for every person that joins here's a little bit of a sneak peek here you can see bonuses we can see also the courses and some ai agent templates as well so if you want join now for the discounted price or you know just wait and learn from this video so now that we have that out of the way let me break down how you can actually build this for yourself keep in mind you can also get this for free in our free community and also one more thing i have to mention is that uh, one of our experts, Gaurav, made this uh, possible for us. He actually made the entire workflow, so I will link him down below as well. Okay, so first thing that we have is a test workflow trigger. As you can see, it's uh, honestly just a simple test workflow trigger. From there, we have a set count here. Uh, a set count is number one. Uh, this is just so we can set the count. Uh, this is just for the counter so that the counter can count uh, how many tweets that are coming in. Okay, if we play this right here, we will get this right here. It's just a simple count. From there, that goes into a counter, which uh, looks like this right here. This cursor is actually coming from uh, this right here. So it's coming from this node. So if we go here and if we just click, uh, we will see count and then we have cursor and this is where it's coming from. So if we go here and if we play this, uh, that goes right into this uh, tweet. Later, it will go into this node. However, right now we have here an HTTP request node that in this case uh, is connected to an API that this is the API, by the way, um, and it's called twitterapi.io. So if you go to their website, you can see that you're getting a real-time data access, uh, very fast response time, 24 seven support. Uh, they also give away 100,000 bonus credits. Uh, I think I run, ran this two times and now I have 98,623 bonus credits. Uh, but you can, yeah, it's actually six calls in the last 24 hours here, you, you can see it. So yeah, for six calls, this is quite good. You're getting 100,000 bonus free credits. From there, you will need to pay something. Uh, I'm not sure really for the pricing, but the pricing is currently $0.15 per 1K tweets, which is quite good price. So uh, yeah, so that's what I'm using here. Uh, and I just went in, I logged in and I went in and I have an API key here. And what I did is I added this endpoint here. So this is the endpoint. We want tweets and we want advanced search because in Twitter, on Twitter, you actually have advanced search, which is great. From there, we have generic credential type, header auth, and here we just added uh, X API key, and then we added here the uh, API key, which is this one right here, okay? We just copied that, and that's pretty much it, okay? From there, we send query parameters. Now, this is very important. We're sending uh, AI query parameters because we want to search for AI-based tweets, right? So we want AI-based tweets only. As you can see right here, we have AI-based tweets only. For example, this one. This is just an example. We were scraping memes for this one, as you can see. So that's what we have. And here, you want to make sure you're entering what you want to scrape. If you want to scrape real estate, then scrape real estate. If you want to scrape something else, scrape something else. For me, I want AI. You can also do AI news, for example, then you'll be getting something else. Query type, top. So we want only the top posts. 
and cursor is coming from cursor which is coming from uh, this right here which is currently null that's what we have currently okay once we test this we should be able to get uh, some data here as you can see we're getting the data uh, Microsoft just turned Windows into an AI platform. So this is what we want. We want AI news as I displayed here. We're getting a lot of different data. So we want to structure that data. So what we do is we have this node right here, which is really a coding node. I don't want to really go into detail here and break this down step by step. However, this is a coding node that extracts all the information and only gives us the most relevant information that will be stored in our Google Sheet, okay? So that's what we have. From there, we are adding this to a Google Sheet. We have a Google Sheet and here we actually uh, can connect our Google Sheet. We can sign in with Google uh, and just authorize that. It's pretty simple. From there, we append row. We wanna append row in this sheet right here. By the way, you can just go file and make a copy on this sheet once you join our free community and once you actually download this. And obviously sheet one, map each column manually and now from this here we're just populating all of these things right so tweet id is here it goes here url it goes here content goes here and then obviously like retweet reply quote view and created ad goes here all here okay so that's what we want from there if you test this step uh we'll get that step in our uh here in our uh, spreadsheet as you can see so it will be auto populated and then we have if node so if the JSON counter is equal to three uh, then if it's true do nothing if it's false then uh, you know go here and I will show you right now what I mean by this so if I test this as you can see false we have 19 items if it's true do nothing if it's false then go here and as you can see limit one first item right here so it limits the items that are coming in then we have set increase here as you can see counter number counter item json counter so that goes from uh so this uh counter item json counter actually comes from the counter which is here let me actually scroll down so if I scroll down, there's a lot of different data points here, but if I scroll down, it's coming from the counter, which is from here, okay? Um, so that's what, what it's coming from. And then this one, uh, which is, uh, it's from like a cursor, it's also coming from here. Uh, it's coming from, um, actually not from here. It's coming from here from cursor, okay? Uh, and then if we test this out, this is what we're getting. We're just getting the counter and cursor and then we're increasing the count this is just so we can increase the amount of uh the amount of items that are coming in our spreadsheet okay as you can see and then obviously from there we just set count and cursor here again and that goes back into the counter and it basically fills the entire workflow so that we're getting more and more and more uh scraped data or scraped um posts yeah so as you can see we're not only getting one post here we're getting multiple different posts and as you can see as many as they have pretty much so as you can see 77 posts here and that's what this entire workflow does it's a very simple workflow uh, it definitely is worth it if you want to scrape like for example ai news all you have to do is when you download this you want to go here you want to first change your api key right so you want to go to Twitter API, you want to copy this API key by going to your dashboard here. So you just want to copy that. So change that and also make sure it's generic credential type and also change the query right here. And obviously that's all you have to change. Obviously for the sheet, you need to add your own sheet. So you want to go here, make a copy and that's pretty much it, right? So that's what you want to do. Now, obviously, you know, this entire workflow can be found in our free community. However, if you want to also learn more about AI agents, how we do something like this and how we create something like this, you can also check our premium community. Also, make sure to check our expert that did this, Gaurav. His channel will be down in the description. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next video.